Hello everybody and welcome to Astroneer. Oh man, I'm excited for this one. I have been waiting for this game since 2015. I've been keeping my eye on it and it's finally coming out to Steam Early Access on December 16th. Uh, developers were kind enough to give me a early look at the game. So we're just going to jump right in because I just want to play this. I tested it a little bit just to get the general idea, but here we go. Not even a cutscene, man. We're just jumping straight in from our little ship. So, the point of this game, if you have not seen it before, is a open world survival crafting game, which we have seen a billion times, with procedural planets, which we've seen a few times. But what makes me excited for this is just the clear direction that the developers are taking with it, and not to mention just the awesome art style. I freaking love how this game looks, man. Oh, this looks so much different than the place I spawned in earlier. But here we are! Hey, little buddy! <laughs> He's got different little emotes you can do by pressing the numbers. I discovered that earlier when I was trying to switch tools or something. So we just crash land on our planet. Well, I crashed. It was a more of a gentle land on the planet. But here we go. We are outside of our little pod here. And we have a big old plant to explore. We can explore it, mine, craft. I think you can actually even go to other planets. You can build vehicles, bases, things like that. And it's in this beautiful world. Like, I cannot get over how drop-dead gorgeous this game is. Oh, I just love it so much and it runs so well. Let's see here. Okay, so we got a terrain tool and we can shape the terrain The entire world is voxel based so we can go down to the planet's core We can go so far down to the planet that the levels of gravity actually start to change It's nuts and we can dig holes. We can dig tunnels. Oh, it's so cool We can just do whatever we want. We can jump around. Look at this big old gun. This dude's got damn We have wave at him <laughs> Oh, that's never gonna get old. So that's our main thing here. We have the terrain tool. We can do that. Uh, we also use it to collect resources. This stuff around here is just like grass or something or like rocks. I don't know if it's supposed to be organic life. This does look like organic life though. Oh, uh, we can put it away and you see this tether. So that's how we replenish our oxygen and power is by going back to our home base. So we can only go so far away. Oh, we have a little compass when you go around like that. That'll be good to know. You can sprint, but that uses oxygen very, very quickly. Let's see, instead of here, this should be organic material. Can we collect this? Oh uh, yes, yeah, so we got some organic stuff now. So you open up your backpack, and that's the great thing about this game, there is no HUD other than just interacting with things in the game, like opening the backpack thing. So we have our organic resources right there. Uh, we have all these different slots, and we have a couple things that we can build just by ourselves. Uh, there are additional things you can build on your base, but for now we have uh, solar, I'm assuming that's like a solar Solar panel, photovoltaic cell, something like that. Battery, tethers, tanks, generators, beacons, wind vanes. So that's what we can build now. Did not mean to hit that. You gotta hit Q to close it. And our oxygen is down to 50% already. Uh, but I just want to see if there's any resources around here. At first, I thought this was like snow or something, like fall on that side. Then I realized, wait, those are the stars going by because we're on a rotating body. 25%, okay. Let's get back to base. We're gonna sprint. We're gonna use up all of our oxygen. Oh, you can do it, buddy. You're almost there. Come on, buddy, you can make it. Woo, there we go. Oh, take a breather for a second. Okay, so to get around that problem that we're kind of limited to our distance from here, uh, we can build things like, we can build the tethers. The tethers will allow us to uh, walk away from the base and actually keep ourselves tethered to it. But to do that, we need either compound or resin. Actually, I think that's oxygen over there. So let's go ahead and head over here and start collecting some of this uh, compound. We're gonna start sucking it all up. And it does take our power, so we can't just like sit here and uh, collect it endlessly. There we go, starting to get some compounds. And the sun is going down, so we're at nighttime now. Spooky, spooky nighttime. I believe there will be uh, enemies included in the game. I'm not sure if they are right now, uh, but let's check that out. What is that? Mm, I think, is this oxygen? It looks blue. Oh, so we don't have any power. No. Oh. But I think that is giving us oxygen. There we go. And I think that's actually power. Oh, right here. Yellow is power. So we're going to use power to suck up more power. So there are ways around it. You don't always have to be tethered or anything. You can replenish all of your stuff uh, without actually visiting your base. Just going to the base is the best way. So right now we have uh, compounds. So we could make solar. Or we could make tethers. Okay, so we can make tethers now. Okay, and beacons. Okay, cool. So that's all the stuff we can build right now. I uh, just want to see what else is going on over here. Here's more compound. Might as well grab that while we're out and about. I like how that... So it does collect on the back there, and then it pops over to your backpack. So we've got extra power in our backpack. We're good there. Uh, we can use that if we start to run a little low. Or we can go visit things like this. These little spouts. 
and collect power from there. Just like that. There we go. We're gonna need some oxygen soon, though. Uh, probably should have collected more, but we, get, we got a nice beacon there so we can find our way home willy-nilly. Don't want to get too far, though. Let's see, but look at this. So we can go climb up that mountain. We can go literally all the way around the planet. If I keep walking this direction, I'll eventually get to my base. Obviously, I can't do that now because I'll probably just uh, suffocate and die and my head will explode like Total Recall style, but it is technically possible. We can even drill through the planet's core, pop out the other side. I, I, I'm presuming, like, I don't know if you're, you can technically do that uh, now or the game will let you, but that'd be pretty cool, right? Oh, oh, I sucked up some oxygen and it fell off. Oh yeah, so you can only fit so much stuff on here. Let's see, uh, we don't really need oxygen right now. I wonder if it'll despawn, if it'll just like hang out there forever? Huh. I wonder. Ooh, and you got resin over here. Ah, uh, we don't have any spots in our inventory, but it's right next to our base, so that should be no problem. Let's head back over here. And so we can take this. Oh, did not mean to hop in. Oh, that's how you save. Okay, good to know. Let's see. So we should be able to take this and build. And then we can kind of extend the base here a bit. Oh, no, we need resin. Okay. So we do need resin for that. Let's go ahead and get some tethers going, though. Why is it doing that? Okay, solar tethers. Okay. We're going to go ahead and craft some tethers. And now we press T, I believe. Yep, place tethers. So here we go. Uh, we can place tethers uh, some sort of distance away from the base, and they'll allow us to remain attached. So that's pretty, pretty handy. And now we can start with the resin. Uh, do we, yeah, we have a slot in inventory, so we can go ahead and start collecting some resin. And now that we have resin, we should be able to extend this out. Yep, so it's just going to kind of grow our base and add additional little pieces like this that will allow us to uh, continue to grow it. There you go. And then once we're on the base, I believe we can build stuff on these little points. I'm going to try and build this solar array too. Let's try that. So crafting, crafting, crafting. Oh! Oh, it, it's attached to us. Okay, so it's not something that we put on the ground. It attaches to us, so we'll be able to act actually keep energy. That's cool. We'll be able to create energy while we're kind of running around. Very cool. I like that. What the heck? Is that a... This looks like there's a structure up there. That's interesting. Okay, we're gonna take some tethers and kind of head this direction. Let's see here. Uh, I want to know also if things will despawn. So if I take this compound, kind of just put it out here. I wonder if they'll stay. Uh, what is the recipe for tethers? It's... Is it compound? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we want to keep some compound. Uh, power, I guess we'll keep that. And maybe grab some oxygen as well. Uh, let's just leave those there, see if they despawn or anything, but we're just gonna extend some tethers out there. That definitely looks like a structure. I did not know there were man-made structures in this game. So let's go check that out. Let's go explore a little bit, right? That's something I'm gonna love doing in this game, is just exploring this giant open world and the other giant open worlds that you can eventually get to. <laughs> it's amazing. Cool, so we shouldn't really have to worry about power now that we got our little solar panel. Let's see, and there was like an oxygen thing. And, oh, it's over there. Maybe we'll find some more. Yeah, that's definitely a structure. Oh, and do we got a first cave? We hope there's not fall damage. No, we're good. Uh, no, it just looks like a little valley, but now we're kind of stuck in here, aren't we? I keep pressing one to bring out my tool. Or are we stuck? We can just chop a hole in the side of the wall here. Take that. Haha. <laughs> I oh, love that. We're not even limited by a canyon. Okay, where'd it go? There it is. That's definitely something. Uh, just keeping an out for any oxygen around here. That looks like something, too. Oh, no, I think those are just rocks. Okay, can we climb up this cliff? Oxygen 50%. Crap. Okay. We need to find some. Oh no, I think there's oxygen over there. I see it. Don't suffocate, buddy. Don't you suffocate. Okay, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, oxygen. Come here. <gasps> okay, there we go. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> okay, got that oxygen. Uh, let's go ahead and build up some oxygen rather than uh just keep almost suffocating. Okay, here's some more. Uh, I'm gonna try and collect some before we go check out that structure just so I can ensure that we can fully explore it rather than just having to leave immediately because we're suffocating. Alright, so there we go. We've got a uh, full oxygen bar. We've got an extra oxygen compound in our backpack and then we've got one more collecting right there. So we should be good. I want to get up there and check that out. Let's do it. Ooh, it looks like we did just accidentally stumble upon a big old pulsating grape tree. <laughs> Do grapes grow on trees? I don't think so. What the heck is this, man? <laughs> it's definitely like pulsating in a creepy manner. Let's grab some power while we're here. Uh, can I collect it? Oh! 
What the heck? Okay, I just pulled the pieces off of it. I unknown research. Oh, okay, because there is research in the game, so maybe that's something we research at a later stage. Interesting. Okay. Oh, uh, we gotta keep an eye on power here, though. We already did we already use up all of our oxygen? Are you kidding me? What the heck, man? <laughs> I just want to climb up there and see what that is. Okay, let's grab that some oxygen there. Can jump? No! Ah, crap. I don't think we'll be able to get up there. Instead of doing that, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, well, we're still gonna go over there, but I'm gonna craft some more tethers just so we can ensure that our return trip will be a little bit safer. Okay, no, keep. I keep trying to escape there. Okay, tethers. There we go. I'm just kind of eyeballing the distance. It's relatively about there, because I mean, it stops right about there. Okay. Uh, now we just got this big cliff to deal with. Oh man, there's a storm coming in. Look at that. That's spooky. Okay. Um, wait, I think we carved a hole right there. Let's go ahead and make a path here, just so when we return, uh, we'll be able to just run up here rather than have to find a different path or carve a new one. Oh, we can even tether right there. Can we tether down here? We can! Okay, look at us go. Because I really want to go check out that structure up there. So we're just going to tether our way all the way over here. And I'm stuck. Come here, little buddy. You're going to... There you go. There we go. Oh, look at that. So we're tethered all the way back to our base from here. <laughs> oh, we're so far away. Okay, let's do like a couple more. We should be good. All right, let's start climbing. Climbing up the mountain. See our tethers right there so we can easily run back down there. 25%. Okay, so it looks like a giant solar array or something. Let's see, is there something we can take off of it? Uh, what do we got here? If we collect pieces of it, let's go ahead and try and dig it out. Will it like fall down the mountain if I do if I dig it too much? Well, let's find out. Okay, yeah, our energy is being taken. There is uh, energy. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay, let's grab this. Oxygen 50%, yada, yada, yada. Oh man, that's so cool. <laughs> We're just like carving it out of the freaking mountain. That is awesome. Okay, let's cut all this out. So, I don't know if this is something we can use at some point. I mean, it's definitely a movable object. Ow. Okay, there's fall damage apparently. Oh, oh no. Oh. Look at him go, he's still sliding. <laughs> oh, you little bastard. Okay, well that hurt. Uh, do we still have our stuff? Yeah, we still have our stuff. I would assume we can run back over there and collect some of the resources we had. Oh, they, those didn't despawn. Okay, so that's good. At least they haven't despawned yet. I don't know if they eventually will. It's like some sort of limitation of the game, but it's good to know. And where's my dead body? Yeah, wasn't he somewhere around here? Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get all that stuff. Can we just collect all of that? No? How do I... Oh, can I just... Oh, I can just grab the stuff. All I had was organic and power. That's not a lot. Uh, does he just kind of hang out there for a while? Should we bury him? <laughs> okay, well, actually, let me, give me this stuff. I won't, oh, no, he's gone. Okay, well, we're going to pretend we buried him. Can I please just put this stuff on my backpack? There we go. Okay, you got to click and click, not click and drag. That was... That's what I was doing wrong. Alright, so we're going to be really careful about falling down this mountain. Because <laughs> apparently you can die. Let's keep carving this out. So there isn't anything here I can grab, right? Like, tear off of it? Doesn't seem to be that way. Oh wait, what's that? I thought, I saw like an exclamation. Okay, uh... We technically should just be able to tear this whole thing out. Maybe we just make it fall down the mountain? That'd be pretty cool. Don't know if we're going to be able to do that though. Oxygen 50% already. Dang it! I don't know if we can do anything with it yet, but it's certainly good to know. Careful, buddy. Careful. 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 Ah. Okay, so sliding apparently is okay. Woo, look at him go. Sweet moves. <laughs> I'm not even touching the keyboard. He's just sliding. What a badass. And I do want to check out these caves a little bit, because I'm pretty sure your oxygen doesn't deplete in caves. Oh, we got laterite. Whatever the heck that is, might as well grab it. Uh, I think we just got a bunch of organic material in our backpack right now. We probably don't quite need all of that. Organic, yeah, organic. That stuff seems relatively common. Okay, no, our oxygen is being used. Let's see, can we grab some power? 
Oxygen 50%. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some in here. <laughs> Maybe. Is it still going down? I can't really tell. Oh yeah, this is a tiny cave. Dang it! That was disappointing. The other ones I've seen were like really big and expansive. Those are interesting. Okay, more <laughs> organic life forms. Suffocating, suffocating, suffocating. Come on, get it. Get it. There we go. Okay. Found some oxygen in here. We're good to go. Grab all that. Oh, stalagmites. Stalactites. God, not this again. It's just like Planet Coaster. Getting all confused. Alright, grab all the oxygen we can. Because apparently that's what we really, really need. Alright, malach malachite. Hmm. Might as well grab some of that as well. Never know if we're gonna need no power. Crap on a stick. Ooh, more giant grapes. Delicious. Nutritious. Oh, you got some oxygen over there. We're a little low on power. Uh, but it's, uh, slowly coming back. Ew! It's all pulsating. Gross. Oh, uh, I probably shouldn't try and make wine out of it. Getting kind of like a Lego Rock Raiders feel from this. God, that game was awesome. Anyone ever play Lego's Rock Raiders? I love that game. That was so much fun. See, this isn't even a cave. There's a big hole in the top, so it looks like a cave when you're down here, but really you're just kind of in a big hole in the ground. Well, I guess that's technically what a cave is. This is a big room. Wow. Look at that. This is rather expansive. There's just so much cool stuff in here, man. Here's another giant grape bush creepily pulsating at me. And I wonder, can, can we dig out? Because earlier, yeah, there's... Is that the thing? Yeah. Okay, it's like the... It looks like a brain. So I'm assuming we can take these back to their base and research them. That one just looks like an alien. That's kind of freaky. Did I hear something? Okay, I thought I heard something. That <laughs> scared me for a second. Whoa! Hey, here's another big old plant. With a brain. I probably should just go around murdering plants. All willy-nilly. Hydrazine. Okay, let's grab some of this. I'm just gonna grab some of the um, rarer stuff that I'm seeing around here. And I think our inventory is about filled up. So let's just grab this. Okay, yeah, this cave system, man, I could, I, could, I could just spend hours exploring this, but we're gonna pop a little hole right here and climb on out. Try and find our way back to base. Uh, don't know how easy it's gonna be if we're like on the other side of those mountains. Uh, we found some compound. Okay, it's not too far. Uh, might as well grab some compound while we're at it. There we go. That's definitely something we're gonna be using a lot. Actually, I think I've been over here. This looks familiar. I recognize those trees. Ooh, look! There's another planet! So, I- I'm pretty sure you can eventually build- You can build, like, uh, like, rovers and stuff and drive around. You can also build rockets and go to other planets, so... We might be able to go to that one? I certainly hope so. That would be freaking sweet. There we go. Made it back to base. All safe and sound. Fantastic. Well, I am really looking forward to diving deeper into this game with you guys. If you enjoyed Astroneer, hit that like button, leave a comment. It's the best way of letting me know that you want to see more Astroneer in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.